Hey guys, and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included, Clay's amazing space colony adventure extraordinaire. My name is Twitchy, and we are in the LZ Alpha with 10 duplicates on the go right now. I have started the game right at the beginning of this cycle because we have a bunch of things we need to deal with. Last time, we went and got this whole gas power generator system up and running over here. It's working quite well. We need to do something to do uh, with, like, flushing out out this uh this this heat exchanger over here but that's no uh, problem not compared to the fact that we have managed to break our way through into the magma down here this was semi-intended but i wasn't expecting to do it right now and i also want to point out that we've got some unbelievably hot temperatures down here we need to try and do something about that as soon as possible so the first thing i'm going to do before we even get going anywhere is to uh place this uh, storage compactor, sorry. Put that in... Th I'm actually going to put it down the bottom of the water here. I think this is probably the better place to put it. Uh, we go to the ladder and we kind of drop it down here. My hope is that we can actually get the uh, the, the temperature, sorry, exchanging into this, uh, this water over here and kind of help smooth out that whole temperature gradient. I now indeed need to go K9 and pick up all of this stuff that we can possibly pick up down here. Even the fossil is a little bit hot, not as hot as it could be. Uh, and then as soon as this one gets built, we will put it onto the highest priority as sweep only with uh, taking absolutely everything that we have available to sweep. And that should hopefully fix an issue that we have over here. Over this side, we have got the gas generator working away. As I say, we can see that we've got gas uh, coming out of this pump over here working its way into the gas generators they spew out a bit of carbon dioxide down below uh thereupon is picked up by the um carbon scrubber also polluted water is thrown out both of these produce polluted water and that gets sent up that way though we have this loop of polluted water keeping this whole entire area cool as you can see we're actually down to about 15 degrees so I'm, I'm, I'm liking the way that is working and that is because this over here is working wonders for us this water goes through this system and as long as this uh thermo sensor here tells us that the liquid is above a certain temperature it will go ahead and pump it right through this thermo aqua tuner or at least it will turn the thermo aqua tuner on dumping heat into the water now i want to take away all of this chlorine and stuff on the inside here i'm not entirely sure how we're going to do that my main idea is to wait for steam to start flashing and then like close this area off as all the different gases get forced out i don't think that's going to be a perfect way of doing it though so i think what i might actually end up doing is building a small chamber on the side here with a, um, a gas pump. Yeah, let, let's go ahead and do that, actually. Let's... Is there a way in and out of here without coming down this side? No, there's not. Okay, so we're going to have to go ahead and first put in a big old dig order like this. And that should hopefully give us enough area to start working with over here. Okay, straight away this area is ready to go. I'm going to put this up onto the highest priority. We are going to come over to sweep only and say all. And let's see what ends up being put into that. Hopefully we've got... Oh, look at what's going on down here. It's all gone very, very weird. We've got some igneous rock. We've got a lot of heat coming out of this system. But that's fine. That's fine. I wasn't expecting quite as much sour gas to have been produced. That is entirely my own fault. Uh, because there's a lot of temperatures on the go mixing quite nicely down here. I want to actually put some uh, tiles in place to keep these two temperatures separate but uh, I want to I want to pick up all these items first and I'm not sure the best way to do that in fact I do know the best way of doing that and we're gonna do it right now bam all right yeah everybody now is gonna start going around and picking up stuff let's see what forest is on uh, if he comes over here in fact let's select him himself and see let's go into the salt bin I mean fair enough but that's not quite what I asked for Okay, I found a lot of stuff over here that we're not particularly interested in. I do actually want to pick this one up, though. So if we can, uh, you know, grab these as well, that'd be great. Uh, hopefully all these will get picked up and then people start moving on to the stuff down here. Yeah, Mimi's already on it. Complaining about it being hot despite the, in the, the atmosphere suit. Interesting. No, I'm not entirely sure how long this is going to take, but it feels like it might be a little bit of a while because these guys are not picking up. I mean, 600... Uh, grams is not a small amount but uh, uh kilograms sorry but i feel like we could be doing better also if it's hot in the environment suits what am i supposed to use to protect these guys eh okay temperatures are definitely getting smoothed out here and that is what we we're going for so that's pretty good but i feel like we're gonna have to put down another one of these oh look we got magma and crude oil directly touching each other here 
that's not what I want at all. But it's interesting. It's interesting. Okay, I'm going to put some tiles down like this. I think that's probably a good place to start here. I'm not sure what the overheat temperature of these would be, but, you know, that that's interesting. We'll, we'll give it a go. We'll see if we can start transferring some temperatures back and forth here. Uh, I've, I've got a few ideas about how to do so, and it's going to involve having a door to be like a thermal... Um, Conductor. I was going to call it an insulator, but actually it's when the doors open, it insulates it. So uh, that that's not actually what it was. Okay, that was the whole day. We got the majority of the stuff done here. We're going to wait for this to, uh, to get done uh, tomorrow, I think it's going to happen. And that will be a great news. Uh, this, sweet, this, this box here got almost completely filled. But you can see all the temperatures are being passed around quite nicely amongst themselves. Though we are definitely short of a little bit of water there. So maybe we've ended up passing a bit of steam into the air. I mean, it would go like up this way, right, if it did. I don't see it anywhere, but that doesn't mean it didn't happen. What? What? What's going on here? What? What's taken the damage? I'm not entirely certain. Is it conductor? But is it the pipe? Got to be the pipe. Okay. So what's going on? Why is our pipe coming out and getting steamed? Frozen? I'm not sure what's going on here. Okay. Let's put this to another uh, 25. Why not? Let's be sure. So I've had to go through and replace the material the tiles were made out of. If I come through here, uh, the last ones were made out of granite. If I just kind of pop a granite tile there, you can see that the uh, melting point is only 668. Let me tell you that already some of the temperatures over here are a little bit scarily close to that. So I've gone through and asked them to put, put these down at a different, uh, different material, obsidian in particular, so that we can uh, get, get some real serious uh, heat heat resistance on the go. Wow, struggle with that sentence there. Okay, so now that we've got this cap here, the next thing I want to do is get a bunch of insulated tiles, which again, I'm probably going to end up making uh, out of obsidian. Though, what's mathic rocks melting point? Let's have a look. Properties over here. Okay, let's try some mathic rock. That should work out well for us. I just, I, I don't want to make it, uh, make a insulated layer out of something that says it's thermally reactive. It just, it doesn't, doesn't sit well in my brain, you know? Okay, so I've put a layer of insulated tiles down with a door in between. By the time they've built everything here, all of the materials should have been pushed up, sort of squeezed out of the tile that they're in. Uh, I'm then going to put another capping layer of obsidian on top, and we're going to control the door by the temperature of the petroleum or whatever liquid we've got at the top here. Uh, we're going to open the door when it is above a certain temperature and close the door when it's below. I'm not sure exactly what that temperature will be. When we click the crude oil though, we can come over here and you see that it will be 400 degrees where we want to keep it roughly. I'm not sure whether that door is going to handle it. I've just realized it's made out of aluminium and I'm like, no, 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 maybe, maybe not. I'm not sure what the best material to make it out of will actually be. Let's go up and have a look at the various ones we can do. Do we have a bit of copper there? We'll have an aluminium there. We'll have an iron ore over here. Here and a wolframite over here. I'm not feeling good about any of them, to be fair. Melting point, a thousand. Okay, so that's the copper ore. Might be the winner there. Um, aluminium, also a thousand. Okay, that's a lot higher than I thought it was. The iron ore, 1500. Oh, wolframite is the winner. We will be using that. Oh, this granite is getting incredibly close, oh, and it's gone to its melting point. That's nice, that's nice. That means we're going to end up flooding all of this with uh, different levels of magma. Is that vacuum over there? Hopefully we'll force all this sour gas out over there. I'm not sure what we're going to do with the sour gas. We could turn it into methane if we get it down below a certain temperature. Oh, but other than that, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Oh, that's not quite how I wanted it done, miss. Why would you go and pump a hole through the side there? I mean, obviously, what should have happened is these tiles got built down here. But, you know, we'll, we'll just wait and see what happens here. Uh, it's going to be bad. Come on, miss. Finish that insulated tile off for us. I'm a little bit worried about what, what that means for over here now. But that's fine. That's fine. All right. We're, we're, we're kind of good. We're kind of good. I see subs putting down stuff over there. Hopefully, the corner gets done before it gets opened up. Oh, actually, that tile has got done. That's that's nice and quick, actually. Beautiful. Beautiful. The work is proceeding wonderfully down here, is what I'm trying to say. Mad Frank on his own building down here today. I'm not entirely sure what, like, Miss is up to. She is cooking. That's crazy. I'm sure we had someone else who was, like, a ded dedicated cook. Indeed, it would be much better if she was doing something else. Look, here we go. Here's Shrouticus himself. He should be the dedicated cook. Okay, so let's go to Miss Alliance Priorities. Let's come in here. Uh, cooking. 
she's on the super minus there. I wonder why it is that Shrouticus himself with the super plus didn't get to do it. All right, look, miss, miss. Look, just... Look, you're not miss. You're a bit of wire. No, I can tell the difference, really. All right, move all the way over. Oh, Shrouticus has just stolen the last. Dude, I, I think I see what went down here. I assume I'm going to have to use iron wires here. Because uh, obviously I want to have a bit of automation on the go. Does that also count for the thermal sensor? I'll do that as well. Uh, and then we're going to come in with a whole bunch more obsidian tiles and put that across there. And this should be the working surface of this heat exchange here. It's a little bit of a shame that all this underneath hasn't gone ahead and... Um become liquid uh, liquid li liquid rock magma that's what i'm calling it liquid rock otherwise known as magma it's a shame that that hasn't happened here but the, you know we've got enough heat transfer from this sour gas and stuff that we should start just being able to pump our, our uh, crude oil into this major collection point here it'll all flow down and then we can have like a petroleum extraction system over here i also think that maybe this wants to be done well we'll see what happens when all that crude oil flows back in fact misaligned is going to do that first so let's uh, let's cancel those i want to i want to see what happens when all of the system gets put in place I'm suddenly panicking about maybe needing some power down here that would be very bad wouldn't it oh a bunch of hatchling eggs or some iron i'm gonna go with the hatchling eggs because we're turning all our hatches into sage hatches and uh, I'm, I'm not about that also i'm not about eggs getting stuck in this system oh 96 is gonna be sorted out tomorrow but then this will drop in there who's at 62 is there a way of sweeping this guy somewhere a little bit better we can hope right we can hope wow all day now i've been watching people come up and try and get materials for this thermo center i don't know why but they come on up here they uh let's speed this up shall we they come on up the ladder and they wander on through the main airlock they come across and then their their suit starts getting re-delivered they pick up the iron and they drop it and i've got a feeling it's because the uh, the suits are being re re uh, invigorated over here uh, and so nobody makes it out with any iron which uh, is is actually a big problem like a really big problem if i'm to be honest oh, oh oh all right mad frank has made it out with some iron it took a while but here we go okay beautiful i, I actually want you to speed up here yeah definitely need to work on getting uh, all of this stuff out of the way so that we can get the fireman's pole put into place that would definitely speed up most of this stuff. Uh, like, you know, a lot, a lot, a lot. Okay, here we go. Is this going to be all of it or is it just going to be this small amount? That's the big question there. It looks like he's putting it down in every place he can. So as long as those wires get put down, beautiful, beautiful. Now I want to go if above uh, 400, no, if below 400, it should open the door, okay? Uh, we'll let that go and yeah, okay, that works. That super works. That super works. Okay, so for now, I actually want to say um, swap it around. I actually want to swap it around because I want to get this last tile put into place before we uh, set it up properly. Okay, nighttime has fallen, but again, terrible overseer. I'm not going to let that happen. So here comes Mr. Lime making a delivery. Hopefully mad Frank to make the build. No, no. All right, fine. <laughs> Miss got zero sleep and she's like, yeah, I'll get back on with that tile. That's fine. That's fine. You, you can you can make me work as much as you want. It's no problem. I will just uh, get on with the jobs because no one else is going to do it, right? Luna's going to go around and do a bit of tidying, but that's not building all this. Okay, beautiful, beautiful. And now that we've got that, I want to go, hey, below, uh, below 400, open up. Now, does this let the temperature through or no, this stops? Wait, it might actually want to be the other way around. Okay, these tiles are definitely warming up, though the uh, the transference seems to be pretty slow. I'm going to go ahead and knock these ones down. I want to see what happens when the crude oil flows back in past these sensors here. Uh, and hopefully, when we get above 400, the door will open again. Uh, it is definitely climbing, definitely climbing, but it's taking its time to get there. Oh, misaligned in for the dig. Let's see what happens here. Now that all these get taken out, I'm expecting crude oil just to kind of like flow back over this way. Of course, we've got a whole bunch of abyssalite that's actually quite hot in temperature here. Actually, no, it's uh, it's not. We've got some vacuum, though. The petrol seems to be flowing into the petroleum, perhaps even going as far as uh, transferring some heat. I mean, that's that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. What was the temperature again? 3999. All right, beautiful. So if it gets anywhere near that, it's just going to instantly turn into petroleum. And that is literally just transferring temperature through. Nice. 
Okay, whilst we're waiting for this situation to settle down and sort itself out, there's a few things I want to do to do with gas control. You can see that we've got a bit of a sour gas issue over this side. And I'd like to put that extraction unit over there, over here so that we can start getting rid of it. Uh, I'm, I think we're just going to store it in, I don't know, inside this obsidian box over here. This might be a good place. We'll put down a uh, reservoir and we'll just pump it full as, as full of the sour gas as we can. Uh, then, uh, then we'll just send any other waste gases out there. So what we need down here, obviously, is to have a gas pump there. And then we need to have a filter following that. Uh, and then after the filter, we need to have... Where are we keeping them? I don't understand why the gas reservoirs are in the base area. I just, I, I really don't understand. I'm actually just going to keep them uh, in a little insulated box over here. We'll go for two for now. I have no idea whether the two are needed or not, but that is what we'll use. We'll use that space for uh, the ladder, and then we'll put a door in here. Yeah, that, that that's actually looking really good for Uni. <laughs> So all this time of having this running, uh, it doesn't actually go anywhere. We need to take this power out and uh, deliver it to somewhere. That should be easy enough to do, but uh, I thought I'd already done it. <laughs> Setting up a little bit of an experiment over here. I've noticed that some of the water that comes through is a trifle warm. We can come out of here up to like 60 degrees or something like that. Maybe this will uh, end up throwing out for us by the time I'm done talking. Uh, so because of that, what I've done is put down this little sort of switchback loop here. I'm hoping that we can uh, sense the temperature of the water coming out of the thermo aqua tuna. If it is below, actually I want to say 25 degrees, because obviously we don't want it coming out too cold now, do we? If it's below 25 degrees, uh, above 25 degrees, yeah, that's right, send it back through the shutoff valve to go back into the aqua tuna. So hopefully we'll be bringing in water of about five degrees, 20 degrees, something like that. Uh, that would work out pretty well for us. How are we doing on the oxygen run? Uh, we had a situation earlier where all my oxygen pipes were absolutely full. I didn't know whether it was a problem or not. Uh, I'm, I'm guessing that actually, no, technically, you know, it's not, it's not really a, a problem, is it? But uh, it would be nice to, uh, to not just be backing up because of course if it backs up too far then these stop working then the water backs up then this shuts down yeah it gets a little much we've not had any water come out of here yet though so i'm gonna wait until that is a thing okay so we've got two water blobs coming out at the end here that's kind of the, to be expected that's when the uh, the switch over happens it's kind of the buffer that was being built up it's quite nice that we actually have some buffer left to come through that means that it's not shut down the entire time uh maybe we need to put some sort of delay on this one though because it does appear to take a little bit of time for the water to come down and through here anyway that is not exactly what we're trying to talk about i think i also want to do that yeah look at look at those look at those definitely want to do that all right let's pump these through they're still at 60 degrees it's gonna be interesting to see what temperature they actually end up hitting the thermal aqua tuner at oh man it's taken a while although <laughs> most of the evening okay let's see how this works out or even indeed if it works out these coming through at 60 degrees degrees right now they're going to come back out as soon as the, the temperature does it 47 as soon as the aqua tuna does it and then they get fed back through beautiful beautiful now the only thing i want to make sure is that we don't end up freezing it because that's something that could happen they're okay, going through at 33 degrees still very very nice actually it seems to be working out incredibly well oh here comes people to uh, come and have a look and then at 19 degrees flows past oh i love it i love it we will be making much use of that Hmm, things have instantly broken over here. Temperature, okay, and the overheat would have been something like uh, 75, right? Let's have a look over here. How do I get that up, given my materials available? I think we're going to have a bit of a problem here. I mean, we totally could drop a loop off of this cooling rig here and start cooling it all down over here. I'm not sure how well that'll work but I'm, I'm up for giving it a go i'm up for giving it a go let's do it oh no oh no oh no does this spew out the stuff so i've noticed there's a sporchid um seed right here i i don't know what to do with that i i think we might even end up just put yeah let's put it in there let's put it in there sporchid seed 
sweep that away and then someone should almost instantly take it to this bit under the water where it won't release its germs where it's a zombie spore zombie spore sounds like an airborne thing in case you were wondering here let me show you look at this in here this plant is producing zombie spores i've never exposed a duplicant to it so i uh, i don't know exactly what it does but it sounds like something i do not want to get exposed to <laughs> Just noticed I'm making these radiant pipes out of lead. I sure do hope we don't go above 327 degrees over here. Like, I really do, to be fair. Oh, what was that? Nah, nothing to worry about. We got a bit of a cheeky situation over here where Jelly will come along in the morning and put the pip egg back in the storage bin. And then this old boy over here... Well, of course, he'll come along and get the egg back out of the thing. But, you know, that that's cool. That's cool. That's a lot of fun. I have boosted the priorities of these um, uh, heavy wires over here because, of course, hooking that up to the power systems was probably uh, more of a situation we need to deal with than trying to set up this uh, cooling system over here. But at the same time, silver linings to having to set this up. We are, of course, going to be able to use this for the natural gas that these spew out. So, you know, that's good. We We get to use some stuff. Oh no, oh no, oh no, we're about to lose one of our natural liquid locks that have been set up. Let's, uh, let's put these two down here at the highest of priorities. You know what? I actually mean the highest of priorities. This is much more important. Much, much more important. We might even put a third one down and then open the middle one up to, uh, to, to create a vacuum. Uh, but yeah, man, we need to do this. Uh, don't, don't put these down already. Oh man, I know what happened there uh, because I did a, 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 a drag of the priorities. They're just going to slowly overheat. That's the problem with these. Where is the, uh, the temperature over here? 88.4. It's going to go up. Oh no, 3, 4, 3, 4, 3. It's, it's going to bounce up and down, hopefully. I mean, it's still too hot. It's still too hot. But what's going on over here? Come on, where, where are people? Jelly, where are you at? Oh, you're, you're making your way down, man. We've really got to work on that, uh... The fireman's pole that I've been talking about. Okay, these two doors should slam into place and then give us a whole bunch of, yeah, nice space over here. Uh, spilling out a little bit of uh, crude oil down there, that means it comes down. And that should almost instantly warm up to petroleum temperatures. So that, that that's going to be pretty cool. I think we need to take it up to 400 to do that. But, you know, that, that, that's cool. This is still making nice little patterns over here, but that's good. It means that we've got uh, more of a gas lock set up. Is this sending temperatures into that you know what i think i might even not quite as high priority now put three of those down there like that okay with forest and misaligned putting these last bits of pipe in we should finally start to get a little bit of situation going around here now we're gonna actually have to I've, i may have made a mistake here now that i look at it because we need to try and take this off in a uh, a, a slightly more uh, smart way you see how this is now gonna be taking all the liquid away from here okay we can we can fix this relatively easy if we deconstruct that but of course put it down at super high priority higher priority than that come along miss i need you to do some work for me and then we'll uh, pop this one down in this orientation and we'll just use the insulated gas pipe go that way and that way and that should make everything work out pretty well all right sweet Wait, what? These overheat? Lol. All right, disable that auto repair until it's time to pick up more gas. Lol. <laughs> it's always one up in the middle of the night eating. Oh, and going to the toilet. You should have finished your meal first, really. Let's have a look at Man Frank. Did he actually didn't finish eating? Did he eat any of it? Well, he's got 2,000 calories in him. He's all right. I'm wondering if there's a smarter way of doing this. I mean, obviously the answer is yes, but I'm wondering whether I can come up with the smarter way of doing this. Uh, so I'm noticing that maybe we need some sort of like temperature control here. Only open a door or something when the temperature is below a certain certain level. I think we'll go with that. Let's put a thermal sensor. Yeah, I want some iron thermal sensors. Let's put it here. Yeah, I think that works. Let's put that there. And then we're going to have another one of these here fancy doors here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we'll put a, a tile above. Not necessarily an insulated tile, just a tile. Mm, I'm starting to think this will just pull a vacuum rather than chill anything down. Maybe we want to put a knock gate go into the gas pump so when the door closes we don't carry on pump. Let's try let's try that as well. Let's try that. We'll go a knock gate. Uh, we'll put it up here, I guess. Automation wire, a bit more. Uh, we need more iron. We are definitely in need of iron. I mean, 375. We should be fine. We're not dealing with magma anymore. We're not dealing with magma anymore. Let's, let's just give it a go, and if it melts, we'll replace it. Hmm, 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 a little bit of a funny problem here because the automation wire has gone into place. Uh, the door closed because it's not, it's not, not getting any sort of system for, ah, just, just, 
Let's get rid of that. Because it's not receiving any signal, it just locks down. Uh, it's rubbish. It's rubbish. Yeah, I'm going to uh, make use of one of the lines that I've already got in place here. You can see they've got this insulated pipe. Let's get rid of that as well. That used to be used to deliver water into this system. That is no longer needed for that system. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this around. Uh, we're going to pump polluted water out of this here system and pop it into the cooling loop so that we can uh, maybe max out this little junction here that's kind of what i'm going to be aiming for because that's that's the bit that we need to uh, to fill up uh because mainly i want to get this do you see this big gap here i don't want i don't want big gaps i want this to be cooling as quick as possible okay now the real question of course is how much water do i actually want to let through here because we can quite easily overwhelm this system I'm going to wait in for a little while and then I'm going to send someone to uh, destroy this liquid bridge over here because, of course, we don't actually want to fill this line up with polluted water. We just want it to be flowing through quite nicely. Okay, I'm a bit worried about running out of daytime, so I'm going to do de de deconstruct this right now. I don't think we need to actually put it on that uh, higher priority. Mad Frank can come along. I'm expecting the fact that this distance and this distance are different from this distance to uh, bring all the, the little bubbles together eventually. So that should work out to, uh, to bring us some nice, nice big big bubbles you see how they uh, are coming together at like this corner this this will be the main corner corner of merger so that'll work out pretty well and then every now and then ones go up and across as opposed to the ones that go through they will also merge that should bring everything together okay i now want to also deconstruct this liquid bridge beautiful beautiful uh, and now the flow should hopefully return back to normal uh this this really needs to be taken down though knew i was wise to be wary of the end of daytime a day uh, downtime got called so we broke that using the uh, power of a alert abuse and let's see how well this distributes the water across the system i think actually we might still be quite badly in need of more liquids okay beginning of the day we're going to take note of the temperature of the subsidian tile it's got some cooling running through it in the background here in fact that's actually insulated let's uh, let's use the temperature of the door instead uh, it's currently at 68, 67. Uh, it keeps bouncing up and down, but I'm particularly interested in what's going on. And you know what? That's that's going up even faster than I'm watching it uh, because I want to be lowering the temperature of this thing. Let's, let's actually refer to the thing that we're actually trying to lower the temperature of. You can see that we're at like 70. I think that 70 is a strong temperature to be, uh, to be working at. I'm just going to write gas pump down. Uh, and we will get back to that. Now, over here, I want to be working on something else. In fact, Misaligned is coming along and working on it immediately. I want to have a little system set up here so that we can start pumping out some of these horrible waste gases in here. You can see that I've got a gas element sensor. We're going to be search, uh, sensing for... Uh, for steam and then whenever there is not steam there this pump is going to turn on using the pneumatic door it looks like maybe we've had some steam coming out already uh because that water wasn't there a second ago yeah look there we go there we go okay this is actually um not amazing if i'm to be honest it's a little bit too soon a little bit too soon when did doors start overheating all right we'll destroy this door then it's obviously not needed Okay, we might very well be too late for this, but let's have a look. We've got a few things kicking around. We've got water over here. We've got steam. I'm not seeing any um, gases that aren't... Oh, look, down there. There's a few things that we don't want to actually be having in here. Uh, but, you know, doing well, doing well. What I actually want to do now, I think, is try and drop a little bit of water on top of this whole situation. Even though these guys are coming in trying to do uh, a, a bang-up job here, I think this is all just now a lost cause. Now that this is actually overheated to the top temperature, uh, it's just a little too much for us. Just a little little too much okay so right now no, that's f2 i didn't want that i wanted this one you see we've got this little bridge over here still let's uh, let's go ahead and put these in place because i want to get a little bit more liquid out of here no now is not the time i need these built and the fact that they're going to be going overnight is a little bit worrying but that's okay that's okay that's better than not having any more water going in there okay let's see who gets on that it'll be very interesting errands mad frank is currently on it why aren't you actually going to it then what's What's the deal there? Well, Luna's on her way down to do something else. That's also very interesting. Uh, I want to... Yeah, we have locked people out of that situation there. That That's cool. So that's one liquid bridge done. Let's get these others others done, guys. Come on, we need to get more steam in here. And that we need to get that in there pretty sharpish, if I'm to be honest with you. Okay, that's pretty good. Maybe we could have sorted this out with some sort of automation system. Uh, that probably would have worked out quite well as well. Okay, so we got water going in there. I'm wondering when when's going to be enough water, you know? what point do we stop building temperatures how is this gonna overheat at 125 i built this out of no aluminium i thought I built it out of lead okay well fair enough 
Okay, early in the day, I have gone ahead and set the deconstruct errand. Hopefully someone's going to come along and do that as quick as possible. So we were looking at the gas pump temperature. I've got 70 written down here and I am looking at about 70. So it looks like, no, we're not doing any cooling here. That's not because it's coming out of here. It must just be thermal mass situation, right? Like we've got so much over here and it's trying to buy its way through that. Can we do an insulative tile instead of a thermal one? Uh, instead of a, uh, an obsidian one? That might help out. That might help out. So right now, looking at it, I'm still definitely of the opinion that we have not got enough cooling in our system. So I'm going to put another liquid bridge. Now, we know this doesn't work perfectly, but it will work well enough for the moment. We will fill this up to the best of our abilities and uh, see what happens from there. Mad Frank, where are you at, man? You are uh, you doing something over here. What are you doing over here, dude? You are... Picking up coal and taking it to the coal gen. Interesting. Okay, I'm quickly opening up this trap over here because there's a whole bunch of reasons to. First is I want, want to get some ethanol spread around in here. You can see Forrest has come to uh, to empty the ethanol bottle. It doesn't seem to actually be working. I don't care about the sweep. We definitely want to empty it, though. Put a little bit more liquid on the floor. Now, if we set this back to one, let's see if anybody's going to walk in there. I'm not sure whether they will or not, to be honest. But this guy's also av avoiding the, his fate somehow. Hmm. It's, it works for this one, though. Okay, that's... All right, that's that's good. I mean, you know, good might be a little bit strong there, but that is a thing. So what we need to do around here is put a little bit more water in here. We can do this. If I uh, get the bottle empty, I turn this around, and then we will change the numbers down below. Hopefully three critters won't crawl in there at some time. You know they're going to, though, right? Okay, changing that tile for an insulated one seems to have done wonders for the cooling over here. Whether we're going to get down all the way down to the 20 that it's talking about down in this thermo sensor, 40 even, I don't know, but it'll be interesting to find out. I'm also interested in the liquids down here, crude oil. Is this also losing its temperature? It is, but not quite as nice, as quickly as I was hoping. Uh, we're getting so close to having it on constant in, constant out. I really just want this to work for us. Having watched this for the majority of the night, we're getting very close to having constant flow through this junction here. But you can see this moment is uh, the one where it kind of all fails, falls apart. And the majority of the time, look, you can see that little blobs are being put into those positions. So we're just waiting for those to recombine, as uh, does happen over at this corner, and then start stacking up into the flow. And you can see that now that we are into like the main body of the flow, thank you very much, Quick Save, coming along to ruin my my flow. Uh, yeah, but watching this flow here. It's pretty constant. This one looks like it could do with an update. But, you know, yeah, it, it's pretty constant. And there's always seems to be something moving. So this is this is good. This is the, the, the chilling that we're after. If we come down and have a look at this gas pump again, we have lost a full 10 degrees. Nice. So I think if I was going to automate this, I would put this one down. Was it here? Oh, I'm not allowed to put it on top of insulated tiles. Ah, that's that's a shame. So I totally would have put it on this this pipe right here, taking uh, the wire down and across over here where I would have put a liquid shutoff valve in there. Yeah, that would have worked out well. Unfortunately, it's not working out well. Okay, I think we're close to full flow. I think this is the only bubble that needed to be doubled up. And you can see there's some very interesting stacking algorithms going on here. It takes a little bit from one side, a little bit from other. That, that's looking really good. But mostly what I'm paying attention to is this little section here, as I have repeated many, many times. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to deconstruct this one now. That's probably uh, all fine. We're going to take a moment to watch the bubbles and make sure at no point do we actually run out. We should actually start building up a little bit of a backlog here. That's fine. I'm I'm all cool with that uh, as long as this does actually get taken out at some point who, who is even on it let's have a look we've got a lot of unreachables let's just do this and see who comes to, to fix it it's gonna be decipher where are you my friend oh wow you are a long way away i'm not sure why other people didn't jump in at that point but you know we just have to deal with the uh, the systems that we are given right Hmm, interesting. The buffering pattern seems to have moved from this corner to this corner. I'm not sure how this has happened. I'm seeing some pretty low temperatures coming out of here, though, so we need to, do need to be a little bit worried. That's probably actually what's going down. This is going on and off. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. All right, that makes a lot of sense. Also, water flashing up and down. Eventually, we'll get this steam up to a bearable temperature, though. It's literally just cresting over 100 degrees, so that's fine. I'm a little bit worried about the uh, the... Uh, polluted water in here it doesn't seem to be doing anything i mean we're already at 102 degrees in there what temperature does it vaporize 120 let's call it okay i'm gonna open all this up but mainly i want to get this abyssalite out of here but also i want to repair the gas pump and stuff i'm hoping the temperature isn't gonna spike too severely now it should have 
should have also chilled outside here just a little bit. So that that's going to be cool. Oh, look, all the water has disappeared over here. Okay, that's something we've got to watch out for. Uh, but it should be fine. As long as, long as when these people come through, it's all... Uh, all nice for us. What's Miss going to come do? Let's have a look. There she is. She's going to construction... Di <sighs> I mean, like, yeah, but no. Oh, of course. End of the day. Well, I mean, like, why not? Why not? Thank you so much. Oh, gosh. Pretty cool hitting the, uh, the priority abuse over here and watching them go through and pick everything up. Uh, because, of course, obviously I've put down some extra suits. Oh, moving away from the thing that we're looking at. I've put down a couple of extra suits over here so more people can get out. We were talking about how the uh, the production of oxygen kept on backing up, so that's pretty cool. And this should now be no pending deliveries across the board. If I put this back down to a nine, people should just be able to start getting back on with whatever it is they want to get on with. In particular, I want this also to be a sweep only all nine. All right, cool. Time to think these guys are not going to repair this. I saw um, Forrest come along and make a delivery. Oh, look, someone, we have got a small list of people on the priorities now. Every time I kept on looking, yeah, it totally just wasn't a thing. What about this one over here? Yeah, people still don't want to work on this one. That is uh, an even greater shame, if you ask me. But uh, thankfully, these guys are going to get worked on now. Uh, I need to turn this back into the normal settings, but I can't do that until this one gets uh, fixed. So that's... That's interesting. Yeah, definitely something wrong with the uh, the auto repair errands, because here comes Forrest to make the delivery, but nothing, nothing in the errand over there. That's that's very interesting. Okay, right. Finally got all of the power sorted over here. Only if it's below 40. Let's let this run. Why did the not gas run there when the door was closed? That, that seems totally counterintuitive to what I wanted, to be honest with you. Uh, let's slow this down and have a little bit of a think, shall we? I'm going to look at the automation and be like, hmm, of course. Okay, yeah, of course, of course. All right, so we're going to get rid of the, that lot over there, and we're going to redirect this wire with the ability to just do this. That should just connect us across. Okay, that should be cool. Unfortunately, the ability to destroy this is something that we're going to have trouble with. Um... It's feeding back on itself. That's fine. Ah, that's fine. That's fine. And mate, that it's not fine because we're going to have all sorts of issues where people get stuck in here. But maybe we can then like just play with this to get them out, basically. All right, everybody's out. So if above forty, everything closes off. No, if below forty, everything closes. Okay, there we go. And now this is all going to start chilling out, trying to get the. Uh, Trying to get everything, in fact. I was going to say get, trying to get the crude oil, but no, in fact, trying to get everything down to about 40 degrees, at which point everything turns back on. It lets in new sour gas, and the uh, the cycle of trying to chill everything down continues. Okay, last thing I want to do. We got this bad boy overheating in here, and before that actually achieves overheat temperature, I want to get all of this set up to start moving the, uh, the, the crude oil that we have just kind of laying around into here, and hopefully that will then... Um, provide enough of a layer to stop it overheating? That'd be that'd be ideal, really. That would be super ideal. Oh, oh, the steam turbines are activated up. That's very nice. That's very nice. A little premature, but, you know, I'm a man who's used to dealing with little things that are a little premature. Oh, wow, this overheat... Uh, you know what? We're going to deconstruct that. This uh, liquid shutoff valve decon... Uh, uh, overheats at a very low temperature. So what I'm going to do is just completely bypass it. We don't even need it to be part of the system here. No, 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 indeed. I'm even going to drop that straight down there like that. And then we will just destroy, if we can, get the liquid pipes. Thank you. All of that. All right, we're getting some crude oil in via the bottle empty. It's being picked up by this pump and then being moved along. Hopefully it doesn't go shooting past. All right, nice. And then it just gets dropped down on top of all this. All right, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. We just do that with all the stuff that we've got hopefully this uh crude oil should be able to take all the temperature away you know what i think this thermal aqua tuner is just made out of bad stuff okay let's let's try it we're going to deconstruct this high priority how far through the day are we okay we're going to just deconstruct that high priority i'm then going to come down into the utilities we're going to go thermal aqua tuner we're going to see which ones we can put down and what temperatures they uh they overheat at it doesn't actually tell us that's a bit of a shame how about in here uh still not really all right, I'm just going to go ahead and go for the um, Wolframite one because I've got a feeling that's probably the one that's going to give us the best temperature return. So that one there, put it down at nine. And as soon, as soon as I can, we will replace this. 
Okay, we're letting a bit of water out the side, but I think we're okay with that. Where is my girl Mimi? Oh, here she is bringing the last piece in for us. This should be a beautiful little addition to the group. I, I really just want to have a look very quickly and see exactly what temperature uh, this overheats at because, you know, it's going to be crazy. Okay, talking about things being crazy, it was all overnight. All right, status. Over oh, that's the same temperature. So in the morning, I have asked them to make an iron ore one. I'm going to make it outside here. I don't want to, like, break all this down and then put it back together again if it's not going to be the one. So let's find out. If not, I'm not sure what we're going to do. Hopefully the iron ore one will indeed be, uh, like, wildly different temperatures. Let's have a look. Has, have people been bringing out the iron ore? That's the question here. That's the question. Hey, Mimi, are you, uh, yeah, you're grabbing the stuff. That's good. That's good. What, who else is grabbing stuff? All right, beautiful, beautiful. Let's see what we get fixed here. Uh, we're going to have a whole load of people make a bunch of deliveries off and then Mimi oh look you're gonna pick up all of this stuff that is Luna of course not Mimi but uh, someone else is gonna come along and make this last delivery and then Mimi's gonna also build despite the fact that she's not like top build priorities but there we go if that gives us a good little bit of information about where we're at I suppose I could have replaced that one as, as well but you know I think I think we're good running this as we are okay I'm not sure how much crude oil we want to get down underneath here we definitely want to have enough to uh, to soak up as much of the temperature as possible whilst also passing it on to the liquids here I'm a little bit surprised that it is quite as uh, sort of finicky as it is okay aqua tuna let's have a look oh that's carbon dioxide low 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 uh, over here it's the same temperature I don't know what I'm supposed to do then. But with that, I'm going to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure, ladies and gentlemen. I will see you guys next time. We're going to turn this on as soon as all the sour gas has sorted itself out. And maybe, just maybe, we'll start digging upwards rather than down all the time. But I will see you then when we're going to do that. Bye!